Okay, in this video, we'll be talking about an alert action called output to a lookup. Okay, so if you remember from my previous videos, we talked about schedule alert, real time alerts, right? And while talking about them, we also talked about different kinds of alert actions like email notifications, web book notifications, right? Now, in this particular video, we'll be talking about another alert action called output to a lookup. Okay, so to do that, we'll be doing the same setup we used to do in other in our other alert videos right we we will be creating that demo alert so i'll be going to my search app okay i'll be just creating a new alert i'll be giving the name demo alert okay search will be giving the same search over there we used to do right what it is doing basically it is um, it is accessing the in underscore internal index and it is only looking for the error events right and that too only for the splunk d log okay now the app name will be search and reporting shared in app the permission it will be schedule alert itself okay and i will just run it on cron schedule so i will just copy that cron schedule so for simplicity purpose we'll be running this on every three minutes let's say okay now the alert trigger action will be the same one the number of results if it is greater than zero then it will be either firing once and for each result okay now over here i have seen one behavior uh, let me know when you are trying this one whether you are facing the same issue or not Mm, looks like it is an Splunk internal bug. So currently I am selecting once, but when the alert will fire, specifically when I am, I will be adding the action called output results to lookup. Okay, it will behave like it is look, uh, it is triggering like for each result. Okay, let let us see whether I can reproduce the same thing over here or not. Okay, so I'll be choosing that alert action, this output results to lookup over here. You can give a lookup file name okay now the lookup can be already an existing lookup in your splunk or you can give a new lookup file name itself so when the alert will be fired the splunk will be automatically creating that particular lookup file okay so i'll be giving a name called demo underscore alert underscore lookup dot csv okay now there is another option called whether the when the alert will be fired whether it will replace the existing data or it will append to that existing data that option you can choose it over here so to start with we'll be choosing this option called replace okay now this particular alert file is not exist in my system that means i'm expecting splunk will be creating this particular alert okay i'll save it now as you know um, there there is another alert over here right in the tmdb app which is basically running every minute and which is creating an event to the splunk d log because error event uh, to be very, very specific because it is trying to send an uh, email which does not exist okay the id does not exist over there okay so let me go back to my search app over here okay so the next schedule time is 9:48. so my current time is 9:46. okay so let us wait for two minutes then we'll see what is the behavior is happening over there okay our wait is over now it is 9:48. so the alert should be fired now let me see it over here okay the the alert has been fired okay i think i ran that alert with all time that's why it is having 10,000 events over here now if you remember i selected one time that means it should be ideally uh, writing a single row to that lookup file right so now let us see what is happening over there so to check out we'll be going to our search and reporting app okay i'll be running an query input lookup demo alert lookup csv okay i'll be choosing all time from here let us run this one if you see it here it behaves like all 10257 rows it is written uh, writing over here right so now so that means for for triggering condition 
once it is writing it's behaving like it is writing as a for each result now let us see if i select for each result now okay and save it let's see how how it works how it works over there so my next schedule time is on 9:51 let us wait for 2 minutes okay it is 9:51 now let us see whether the alert is fired or not yes it's fired so it it's basically work with 10 uh, uh, 10262 events now let us see so previously i had 10257 events right so ideally if you see it over here as i choose replace over there right so currently it has only single row so that means when i am selecting selecting for each result it is working something like once okay so i i am able to see this behavior only for this kind of alert action output results to look up let me know whether you are facing the same similar issue or not then maybe i'll be creating a sprung ticket for that okay now let us talk about the append one okay now if i just click on append over here now i'll be keeping this for each result that means currently it is what it will be working like once right so ideally it should keep that single row when next time it will fire it will be creating another row in our lookup file right so in my lookup file ideally it will be two rows now okay i'll be clicking on save done okay so the next time is on 54 954 currently it is 952 let's wait for another two minutes again okay our wait is over let us see the alert is fired or not yes it's fired it picked up 10265 but it will only write one record right as we are expecting but it, it has written something like 501 okay. something odd behavior i am seeing it over here okay so let me know uh, how 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 you are facing this one or whether it is working for you guys or not by commenting to this video okay uh, so this is what i think I, I, you got the idea like what we are trying to achieve it over here so basically when the alert will be firing so that time it will be writing to a lookup file so generally uh, this this type of alert action we do not use much okay then we will be mainly use uh, we will mainly use for email purpose or webhook alert action or custom alert actions okay so that's all for this particular video see you in next video